Hello out there, and welcome to English Teacher Plays. Uh, we're here with African Safari. Uh, and it sounds like we're listening to a lion having sex. Yeah, so this is happening. Right, well, we're going to play it. Uh, sure, let's play Oh my gosh. All right, so take six guests on a three-hour safari, get points for spotting mammals, lose points for getting to the finish point too early or too late, game over if you or one of your guests is killed. Use WAS to move, M to show and hide the map, hold shift to run, left mouse button for binoculars, right mouse button for flashlight. Mammals will be automatically identified if they are in the center of the screen and a reasonable distance from the player. Pressing H will sound an air horn. This is to be used to frighten off a charging animal. Only one animal at a time can be frightened this way, so try not to annoy two animals at once. Uh, uh, they will turn to face you and make a threat display. Jesus. That is very loud. That is very, very loud. All right, so we're going on an African safari. Right. And, oh my God, we've got, I hate this kind of walking thing. The, and I don't know, I don't know what this is. All right, so we're going on a walking, oh my God. Why the sounds like that? I don't. Okay, start, end point. Right, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to go for a walk, I guess. We'll go for a run. I do not like it when it bounces like this because that is not what the world looks like when you're actually walking. <sighs> There's a reason why, like, FPSs and stuff, they don't do camera bob because your eyes automatically adjust for the movement of your body. Brains are really smart. Um, and uh, it's just, I see it all the time in video games, especially sort of indie games. And I'm just like, so that's a flashlight. All right. All right. So we're looking for some mammals. We're going on a safari. Are we... Where are we? Oh, it doesn't tell us where we are. Right, there's not... So this map is actually not that useful. Because it does not tell us where we are. Great. That's fine. We will just walk this way, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Oof. I don't, I don't know what we're hearing. I, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know what that noise was, so... If I was supposed to know what that was, then... Yeah, I can hear birds, but I can't see birds, because the, uh, the bird song, I think, is just part of the soundtrack. It's not actually... So I'm I'm not hearing Okay. Right. I'm not seeing anything. We're just we're Oh there we go. There was something there was a new sound. I spotted an impala. Where where was that? Oh there he is. Whoa, he's very blurry. All right, so we got some points for spotting a thing. All right, well, at least it did the thing that it said it was going to do. We're going on a three-hour safari, and it looks like the time is real time. That is not... I, I had not planned on playing this game for three hours, I, I, I tell you that much. I don't... I spotted a buffalo. Nice. Is it going to charge us or is that a threat display? Nope. All right. We're done. All right. So we're walking around. We're headed west. I might, uh, I might fast forward until we find some, some actual interesting animals.
found an elephant! Yay! Let's go pet the elephant. Hello, Mr. Elephant. <laughs> he made a tiger sound. <laughs> the elephant made a tiger sound. Oh no, hints. Oh my god. Set time. I don't, okay. So we're gonna. So we're gonna we're gonna fast forward. I'll go the other way this time. So one of the problems that I'm having is that uh, occasionally you walk past a tree or something and it cues a sound cue, which uh, if it were if it happened in real life would basically be the bird just landing on your shoulder and just shouting in your ear or the monkeys or whatever it is um, because it just comes out of nowhere and just it completely obliterates any of the uh, any of the atmosphere because it's the only thing you can hear. Um, it doesn't blend with the, the room tone. It doesn't have a direction that it's coming from. Um, it just plays the whole thing. It's, it doesn't have a, lo a location or anything like that, which makes it just feel completely out of place. Um, yeah, so the sound, the sound cues and stuff, while they're interesting and obviously they're taken from real life animals and stuff, just have no... They, they've done nothing to integrate them into the game other than have them trigger when you walk under certain trees. Because um, you just keep walking and they, they stay super loud in your earball and the only way for that to happen is if they were like on your shoulder just screaming at you. The, uh, the current birds that you can hear, that's all just part of the, the normal room tone soundtrack. And I've been hearing them the whole time. Um, and then you'll get like a random one that'll just blow your ears off. Um, I'm just going north. I'm trying to find the end edge of the map this way. The other problem that I'm having with the game is there's just not that much to do. Um, and the game builds itself as being relaxing. I'm not very relaxed because, uh, I don't like the head bob. Um, and if I wasn't sprinting, I've been holding shift the whole time to sprint, then this would take way longer. Um, there are... Oh, I must have left my my actual people behind so they got tired or something and I and I've left them behind are they on my map I don't know I don't know they they were keeping up with me before but I guess I've completely left them in the dust um, and now we're just now we're just walking around I've already seen one of those must have already seen one haven't seen any lions yet the coolest thing I've seen so far is an elephant I guess I was sort of hoping that I would find the water, which should just be at the north end. But this might be a huge map. Um, I've now been running for 20 minutes. Uh, maybe maybe 10 minutes after I died. I don't know. Anyways, I'm hoping to find the water because I want to see a hippo. But honestly, there's just nothing going for it for the game. It's not like I can take photos of these things or... Here we go. Here's one of the uh, the sound cues. And it will just play super loud until it's done playing. No matter how much I walk or escape, it just keeps going. Yep. Very loud. It's very loud in my headphones, I'll tell you that much. Um, which is cool, because we're getting to hear some other birds and stuff, but like... Yeah, there's been no, no design to make it, you know, location-based. It's not like I can see what bird is making that call. It's just 
I have to listen to it, and it's very loud. And that's it. Man, this is so big. Are there snakes here? Who's talking to me? The people that... Oh, there, there they are. They finally cut up. Man, they are slow. I'm just going to keep walking. Are there snakes here? Yeah, I thought I, I thought I'd totally left them behind. But obviously, they're still following. Don't know what that is. But uh, it's a tree. So you can turn on your flashlight. You can look through binoculars. Yeah, I'm just going to fast forward until I get to the water and see if we can see a hippo. Hey, we found the water. Nicely done, team. Nicely done. And I think that's a crocodile. Uh, how close do I need to be to, to sight it? Oh, I don't get points for it because it's not a mammal. And I guess he just stays there. Does he move or anything? That doesn't look like an alive crocodile. I want to see a hippo. We're going to keep looking for a hippo. That's what, I, that's what I'm here to see is just a hippo. And then we can go look at the description. So the water doesn't make any extra noises. We are now just walking along the shore, looking for hippos. Oh, what happens if we go into the water? All oh, right. Hey, we can swim. So there is swimming. Cool. Sometimes they don't program swimming in. That's a thing. We have found zero hippopotami. Ooh, let's go out to this little beachhead thing. There we go. Um, okay. Well. Yeah, it's very loud. A lot of uh, saturation on those trees, I guess. So we're just we're just out here looking for hippopotamus. That's the only thing we're looking for, and then and then I can uh, exit out of this game happily and never play it again. So I think I've given up on looking for a hippopotamus. Uh, I don't actually think there are any, even though the warning said that there were. Um, I don't see any hippopotamus. Zero hippopotami. Yeah. So I guess the only thing left to do is to see if those al if the crocodiles actually uh, attack, or if they actually are just static. Yeah, because he's just sitting there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go walk right up to him and be like, "Yo, dog, you got a problem with me?" Oh, he moved, and he swam. He moved and he swam. That is unexpected. Okay. Well, that's, that's exciting. There are alligators swimming in the water, I guess. Or at least one. So is that him there? Yeah, that's him there. Right. So they do, they do exist, I guess. And you can barely see them. And they swim around in the water. Here's some more of these really loud bird and monkey things. Um, that just sort of intrude over the top of everything else. Yeah, and then they, and then they disappear. Um, which makes total sense, I guess. Yeah. Right. So, I think we're at that point where I'm, I'm pretty comfortable saying we've experienced a significant portion of the content. 
and it is time to go look at the description. So let's go do that. All right, African Safari Simulator. Go on a walking safari in a 4,000 acre nature preserve. Uh, score points by spotting mammals. Try not to get killed by dangerous animals. Developed by GT Games. Currently costs $15.49. Take six clueless guests on a walking safari or roam the wilds by yourself in a 4,000 acre nature reserve. Score points by spotting any of the 20 species of mammals and try not to get yourself or your guests killed. Nearly 40 species of mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and insects. 25 African tree and shrub species. Lion, leopard, buffalo, elephant, rhinoceros, black and white, hippopotamus, crocodile, cobra, and mamba will attack and kill you. Or your guests if you get too close. Automatic, automatic ID system for the mammals. So, the game is pretty. Yeah, there's, it's got a, it's got a nice amount of pretty. Um, the problem that, uh, that I see, the problem that the game runs into, is that it's very boring. Yeah, there's, there's, there's really not much going on. The sound design is fairly poor. I do like that they've included a lot of, like, realistic animal sounds. That's cool. Uh, but, uh, the way that it's mixed makes it poor. Uh, if I was walking around and I, you know, and, like, as I got closer to a tree, I, I heard loud monkey screaming and I didn't I wouldn't need to see a loud uh, a bunch of monkeys but as I walked past it went away it would give me a sense of where they were um then I would feel like the place was more real as it is it's just kind of listening to and uh sounds of Africa CD from the from the 90s um while endlessly walking through a uh gigantic unity asset which is fine but not great and not worth not worth 15 bucks man yeah it's not it's not really it's not really up to snuff it is pretty they've done a good job making it pretty uh, but the sound design is not good um, and this is some this is some weak sauce uh, advertising here get a designer to make you a better you know covered cover art yep so this is our first game only game um, yeah, I wouldn't buy it at this point. I'm gonna, uh, you know, I, I, I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. I think at the price that it's at, um, because it's what it says about itself. Where it said it somewhere. Oh, yeah, adventure, nature, casual, open world. I think the one of the things it said for me when I first bought it, and this was like an hour ago, um, was relaxing. But it's not that. But I don't know, man. It's not up to snuff. Yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to be done before this would actually be worthwhile, including, you know, adding some better content. I don't know, man. Like, I think there's probably a fun game that you could do here. Uh, if, you've got a, if you've got a story mode, have an actual story mode or, like, you know, the have the guests tell you what kind of animals they want to see and give you bonus points for actually seeing those animals. I never saw any of those insects flying around me. That didn't happen. Um, yeah, so it is it is what it is. You know, you saw, you saw what we saw, you saw what I saw, that thing just killed him, I guess. And yeah, that's the African Safari. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, leave me a comment down below, and uh, otherwise I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.